Okay, today is a happy day because we are announcing uh, a bipartisan coalition to try to do something that's really important for our country and the well-being of our people, something that's been controversial for a long time, but we are stepping forward together to say we got to make major changes in, in our country's attitude towards cannabis. And if we do, many people are going to live better lives, and it's going to be better for our country, better for people, and, uh, and it makes economic sense at a time when, we have, when every penny must count for government. And so today, I'm proud to announce the establishment of the Congressional Cannabis Caucus. Uh, Representative Earl Blumenauer, Don Young, and Jared Polis, my colleagues with me today, uh, are the, uh, you say, are, are the co-chairman of this uh, caucus. And we will be trying to do everything we can to keep the momentum going that we've established in these last four and five years, that is, we've seen great progress on this issue. And uh, now with a new administration, it's vitally important that we pay attention and that we don't do this hap-heartedly and haphazardly and that we get together and have a professional presentation to the people of the United States and to our fellow members of why it's important for us to, to take the policies that have not worked in the United States and hurt people on top of it when it comes to cannabis and change those policies so that it works for the people of this country. To date, 44 states have enacted laws to varying degrees of permitting cannabis. And as you know, the uh, Robacher Farr Amendment uh, for these last three and four years have prevented uh, the federal government uh, or any expenditure of federal money, and, and that means federal agents, from going in and superseding state law in those areas where the, the state governments and local governments have uh, basically legalized the use of cannabis. Uh, we have to protect that step forward, but the next step forward we need to do is to make sure that, number one, recreational uh, marijuana protections are, are considered seriously, but also in those states that have uh, some had reform on marijuana, that they uh, are backed up in the sense that we have, will state, and I have a bill, H.R. Uh, HR 975, Respect State Marijuana Law Act of 2017, uh, that act will make sure that at the federal level, whatever we're doing, whatever agency or department at the federal level must conduct itself uh, toward uh, marijuana and cannabis uh, uh, industries in any state where they have uh, declared the the, uh, the state law to, if especially if they are liberalizing the, the law or they're actually making it legal, that uh, those federal agencies and departments have to treat uh, that entity uh, as is as consistent with that state law. So thus, when we have a lot of banking and other restrictions uh, for people in the marijuana industry, uh, that this will now take care of that because the people who handle federal regulation of banks and, and, tra and transactions have to operate uh, under the, under the uh, uh, standards that have been set up by the state themselves in terms of, of cannabis. 